nonsense, Mr. Wayne Hutchinson. Um, 
I did that when I first first started out, but now I can pretty well see. I mean, one of the hardest things that people will say is when when you're looking at the ceiling and the wall is that little fine line where they meet. Well, that fine line where they meet is what you want to cut in. So if you're having trouble deciphering where the ceiling and the wall separate, take a, a, a scraper and make a mark. It's the easiest way to do it. The other thing that I do that a lot of people have a hard time with is, is doing trim. If this was a door frame, what I would do is I start with the trim first. I'll, I'll paint this first. Simply because when you have the walls all painted, a lot of us have a hard time doing this. It's easier to do this. If you get some paint on this wall from, the, from your trim, which is probably normally white, it's easy to cut in here because you can feather it into the wall. Um, I use a thicker roller. This one's, this one's a medium thickness. One of the things that uh, another friend of mine said he, was, uh, he, he did his daughter's uh, rec room. And he said, same thing. He said, oh, I think I'm a pretty good painter. But he said, I'm getting these awful lines on that. I said, okay, let me go down and look at it. So I said to him, what way are you holding a roller when you roll it? He said, I'm holding it in my hand, you dumbass. I said, yeah, well, I figured that. Actually, I used this one. This one I've had for about 35 years. This is, a, this is what they call a closet handle. And I'm sure a lot of you are saying, okay, yeah, this is all not a big deal, but it's better than paying the real speaker. What I would do is when I, when I cut in here, this is my ceiling, my wall. Well, the hardest part for people to do is to get in that corner. So what I do is I take my brush and I depress it just enough that I can get it in the corner. And then I'll just come along like that. And then what I do is I paint back that way. Leave yourself about two inches, three inches. And when you roll, you don't have to roll up to there. That's the reason you cut in, so that you roll to this. Now, this is the method that I, I use. I start off over here, bring my roller down, and bring it up, bring it down. Now, two of the biggest faults that people have is A, they don't roll the roller properly, and loading it is getting it wet, basically. Some people just run it in their tray and they go, oh yeah, I've got some paint on there. And then what they get is you get a bumping effect. That right off the bat tells you that your roller is not loaded properly. It's the same thing with loading a brush. I would stick that brush into about halfway. This is a little tap and that gets any drippings off it. Um, it's a habit to get into. It's a good habit. It's hard to start to get into it because your first thought is to take it out like this. I've seen people Trying to, get, trying to get up there before it drifts down. Halfway in, middle dab, you're done. Then I just cut across. Now, when I, like I said, when I roll, I start over here, I bring it down, and then I bring it back. And then what I do is I'll take, sometimes I'll take this, what they call a back roll, and get it back out. Now, the guy that said he couldn't figure out why he had lines on his wall, I said, okay, show me how you're holding the roller. Well, this is the way he was rolling it. So he's rolling that way. I said, you're rolling that way. He said, yep. I said, okay, there's your problem right there. This part of the handle should be facing the way you're going. And the reason, the reason that he's having lines, this is your pressure point. So when you press down, you leave a line, right? So if he starts out that way and rolls over, every time he rolls over this way, he's leaving a line. So he gets over here, let it roll, yeah, I'm finished. Walks away, says, okay, it'll be okay when it dries. So the second coat, first coat, you see the lines, no big deal, you get them in the second time. But if you do the same procedure, you're still getting lines. And that's the common mistake that a lot of people do is they roll the wrong direction. Now somebody said to me, what about rolling from this way over? I've only ever seen two people in all the years I painted that roll what I call left-handed. That's their prerogative. That's the way they can do it. That's the way to do it. There's nothing wrong with going this way as long as you don't go this way and leave this on the end. Now, somebody asked me when I sat down. First of all, somebody asked me if I was getting rid of my junk. So I took him out of my well. 
second one was you uh, going to show us how to clean a roller. See that? I don't have a dirty roller, but I can show you how to clean one. Okay, Wayne, before you get to that, how do you properly load the roller? Like, do you, do you just dip in a bit, or do you, do you go further into the tray and then pull it back? Like, yeah. What's the right way? What I do is I'll, I'll go into the tray, I'll get a bit at the edge, and I'll bring it back, and I just keep bringing it back, and then further, the more I go in, I go in more and more and more. <laughs> now the roller is wet. So if I have any extra, now it's here, I'm rolling it in. So you don't, you don't want to stick it right in the tray. So like I said, you're right, you just bring it back, and then every time you go to it, you'll go a little bit more and a little bit more. You'll be able to feel, again, it's one of those things that, because I've done it for so long, you get to feel that it's the right way, you just do it. I was helping a friend of mine one time paint his mother's condo, and I said to him, we seem to be run, using an awful lot of paint. I was doing the ceilings, I got the dirty job, I got to do the stucco ceilings, he got to do the walls. And his brother was 6'4", so he got to cut him with a ladder, so we used him very well. So I said to him, I said, Terry, what are you, let me see your roller. He said, why? I said, we're like, you're using an awful lot of paint. There's a reason why we should be, still have lots of paint left. So I picked this roller up, and I barely could pick it up. So I went over, I took the, took the roller, and I did, no kidding, but half a wall this size with one roller that he, he was just getting it in there and going. So how do you know, how do you know when the right amount is? And that's a good point because I know when I paint, I'll let the paint run out and I'm pretty sure it's, it's emptied off the roller, but is that the right way to do it? Though, I wouldn't let the roller get that dry. So don't let it get no. dry, okay. And then, like I said, in order to get rid of that line, always come back and then go back to where you were. So now you're down here. And like I said earlier, if you start to roll and this thing starts thumping, it's uneven. It's, it's, it's not loaded. What will happen is it'll, it'll load. You're going to load here and skip, load here and skip.